Yo, what's good? It's your boy St. Joe, MachineTutorials.com. Today, I want to show you how to record your MIDI directly in the Cubase. Get this question a lot. Um, if you want to do all your sequencing and your MIDI, you know, recording in Cubase instead of the machine software. So, I'm going to just show you how to set that up real quick. Basically, you want to go to Devices and set up machine as a VST instrument. So, I'll just go here and select that. Of course, it's going to ask me if I want to create a MIDI track I'll say yes so now I got a MIDI track created for machine what I'm gonna do is just create a couple more um, I can just duplicate this or I can just you know add as many as I want let's say I just want to add more so I'll just say I want to add some MIDI tracks I'll just do three of them and I could rename these and then machine for now the main thing you want to do is make sure you have your MIDI routed right so by default I don't know what yours is going to be on but you want to make sure that your MIDI out is coming from the machine MIDI out and your MIDI in needs to go to this one where it says one machine that means this first instance of machine MIDI in that's how you'll be able to record your MIDI so once you have that set up you can load a kit let's just uh, I'll just load something so let's say I got this loaded now of course by default I can hear my audio but I can't hear I can't I don't see my MIDI triggering that's because I haven't set it up yet so what you need to do is go to sound MIDI batch setup and you want to say sounds to MIDI notes I'll leave it on channel 1 since this is my first track um, I'll just say channel 1 and the root note is going to be C3 and I'll just click apply so now when I hit it you can see my MIDI right here so that's my MIDI ready to go and you can see up here it indicates my MIDI is being triggered So let's just do something real quick. Um, change my tempo, make it about 90, 93 or something like that. Let's just say I want to do this little four bars right here, or whatever. I got my little count in ready to go, and I'll be I'll be good to go. So let's just do it so we can see the MIDI. You can see right there, I got my MIDI in there. If I want to expand it so I can look at it, I can go in and do that, or I can go in and double click, edit it if I want to. There's all my MIDI. So everything is basically inside of Cubase. Now I can do what I normally do. If you use Cubase, you can do what you normally do with your MIDI and everything. So and if I want to go back into another one, another track, I could do that as well. Let's say I want to do another track on Group B. I'll go in, find something else. Maybe I just want some uh, shakers. I'll just say shakers on this one. What I'm going to do with this one, I'm going to go to MIDI batch setup, and I'm going to put it on channel 2. I'm going to say channel 2 for that one. And now I'm going to go down here. See that I got my MIDI set up, MIDI out to machine, MIDI in to machine, and I should see it. You can see my MIDI right there being triggered, so I can start it over. And so there again, there's my MIDI just for that track so I got my two separate MIDI channels two different groups in machine I'm in machine mode I'm not in MIDI mode I'm in machine mode so some DAWs let you route like this and some don't um, basically you need to create a MIDI loop where uh, your MIDI track can receive the output from the actual machine 
instance and that's what this that's what this setup does so if you see it again this is your MIDI output now MIDI out is coming from the MIDI out of the machine instance and my MIDI in is going to the machine instance and that's how it works that's how I can hit my pads and see my MIDI of course I you know if I don't like that get rid of it go back say I want to do it again I could keep going I can go on to channel 3 maybe I want to put another group in there you don't have to do the group MIDI setting you can have it it doesn't have to be a group so let's say on channel 3 I want I don't know maybe a machine maybe a bass or a brass or something let's say we want to I don't know let's find a lead maybe we want a lead so I'll get rid of this from this group and I'll just say I want this here Make sure your sound mini batch isn't set to sound the mini notes. We want to restore it to defaults. So now I can play it. Now again, my MIDI in is going to be from my keyboard this time, but I still want my MIDI out to go to the machine. So you can see the MIDI. So now I can be able to record just an instrument. I don't have to do a whole group at once. I can do just an individual instrument. It's pretty much the same thing, but instead, like I said, I want my input. I could set my input to come from all inputs, but I find it easier just to choose which one you're using. I'm using this as my MIDI keyboard, and then again, the output is going to this first instance of machine on channel 3, which is, if I go in here and look at this, sound MIDI settings, enable, put this on channel 3. So, we can go in and record that if we wanted to. So, nothing special, but just wanted to show you the, uh, the actual concept. So, you don't have to do it as a group you can do individual instruments as well so you can line up as many as you want and if you just want to use the different sounds and stuff inside a machine and but you want to record it inside a Cubase this is how you would do it so I showed you how to do it with the group and I showed you how to do it with the individual sound again it's all about routing the MIDI now if you want to do it as the group and you want to use the machine pads to record your MIDI into Cubase you have to have it set like this it has to be receiving the MIDI out from machine the machine instance not the machine controller the machine instance and it has to be going to the machine instance for the MIDI in and what this is doing is when you set it up saying sounds to MIDI notes and then you make machine the machine MIDI out from this instance your input what it's doing is receiving those notes that you're hitting on the pads so this saves you from having to go into control mode so you still keep it in regular machine mode and have all your controls and everything you just send in those notes and Cubase is recording them so if you have any questions of course let me know it's your boy St. Joe machinetutorials.com showing you machine in Cubase and how to record the MIDI properly alright peace